Iran continues production of seven homegrown satellites, which may be launched in March next year, when designers are expected to put final touches on the projects, Islamic Republic news agency, Erna, reported on Monday, citing the head of the Iranian space agency, Hassan Salaria. The spacecraft that are planned for the 2023 launch include the already manufactured Iranian Nahid, Pars-1 and Zephyr satellites, while the remaining satellites are still under construction, Solaria was cited as saying by the Erna. The satellite series of Nahid, Pars-1 and Zephyr are regarded as the most modern Iranian spacecraft which were designed for telecommunication purposes as well as measuring space radiation, according to the outlet. Some satellites, including Nahid-1 and Zephyr-2, have been awaiting launch for several years. The satellites will operate at an estimated altitude of 500 to 530 kilometers, 310 to 341 miles, the Erna added. Last year, PARS-1 satellite has been handed over to the Iranian Space Agency after completion of successful relevant tests. The development of space technology and acceleration of relevant activities, adding, despite all restrictions caused by the coronavirus outbreak, this giant project was accomplished according to the schedule. Continuation of cooperation for designing and manufacturing satellites is the main objective of ISA, the official said and noted, we try to take advantage of existing technical know-how for the prosperity of space industry in Iran. Describing PARS-1 remote sensing satellite as one of the most advanced and sophisticated homegrown satellites, he said specialized engineers faced many problems in manufacturing PARS-1 satellite, but we succeeded to indigenize these technologies. In relevant remarks in October last year, deputy head of Iran's space research center Jafer Salehi announced that the homemade PARS-1 satellite has passed its functional and environmental tests, saying that the country plans to manufacture a more advanced satellite named PARS-2. PARS-1 satellite is the most complex and most operational remote sensing satellite in the country and weighs about 110 to 120 kilograms. It has passed all its functional and environmental tests and is now being delivered. On the other hand, based on the plan, the satellite will be launched into its operational orbit as soon as possible, Salehi told FNA on Wednesday, October 21. He added that PARS-1 satellite has three cameras, a 15-meter camera with the ability to take colored images, a 150-meter camera, and a 300-meter thermal camera, adding that the satellite has a propulsion system that has the ability to maintain the satellite in the orbit. Iran's Space Research Center plans to design and construct PARS-2 remote sensing 2, and its imaging capability increases compared to PARS-1. In fact, a kind of technological leap occurs in the design and construction of PARS-2, Soleil said. NAHID-1 is another satellite for space technology development in the country, ordered by Iranian Space Agency and designed and built by the Satellite Systems Research Institute of the Iranian Space Research Center. It was defined with the aim of gaining knowledge, technical capability and experience in the field of designing, building, launching, and exploiting satellites to provide the infrastructure and requirements for achieving the capability of building and developing operational satellites and especially geosynchronous communication satellites. In fact, Nahid-1 has been created as the first phase of a strategic plan to achieve operational communication satellite, and its mission is defined in this regard.
With the continuity in the stages of the project development, a quality sample was made, and after passing the desired performance tests. Currently, the satellite is about to launch. This satellite comes in a cube-shaped structure measuring 85x80x80 80 80 cm with a mass of 50 kg which will be placed in a low-Earth orbit by the indigenous Safar SLV. Solar cells are installed on four of the six sides of the satellite. In addition, two small folding plates on which a number of other solar cells are placed have been installed on this satellite to be deployed after being placed in the desired orbit and the performance of its mechanism set to be examined visually. These folding plates have been installed on the country's indigenous satellites for the first time and thus, Nahid-1 satellite is the first Iranian satellite equipped with a deployable structure. The purpose of embedding these two plates is to gain experience in the field of designing and using the space deployable structure, so that based on the capability obtained in this field, larger sized solar arrays could be used in the future satellites of the country. It is designed to orbit at an altitude of between 250 and 375 kilometers with an inclination of 55 degrees. Zephyr satellite has been designed and built with three main missions of imaging, storing and sending data and measuring space radiation by order, and systematic supervision of Iran Space Agency and Iran University of Science and Technology over three years in two samples Zephyr 1 and Zephyr 2. In the space sector, the satellite includes the imaging, star and forward, and space radiation research payloads, and a series of subsystems of positioning, status determination and control, data and command management, energy, structure, and mechanism, and heat control. Zephyr 2 is under the final phase of preparation, Nahid 1 and Nahid 2 are ready to be launched, and PARS 1 has been delivered to Iranian Space Agency, according to Erna Sunday report. Space industry is one of elements of power in countries, and four satellites, a space engine, and an orbital transition block are among important space achievements in Iran in the past two years. Zephyr 2, the modern copy of Zephyr 1, was launched through Simurg satellite carrier about two years ago, but its injection velocity was not enough to keep it in the orbit. Zephyr 2 has been waiting for launch for two years. The satellite research payload or SPU is sent with the satellite for research and experimental purposes. The task of the radiation research payload called SPU on Zephyr satellite is to measure the amount of ionizing dose by cosmic rays received from space, and also to detect their effect on semiconductor chips, including SRAM memories based on composite field effect transistors. Cosmic rays and energetic particles outside the Earth's atmosphere and space cause bit reversal rate. Zephyr Satellite SPU board, using a central FPGA chip, provides the ability to measure the ionizing dose by eight sensors cumulatively, and five temperature sensors, and monitors and reports the bit reversal rate in the internal SRAM memories of an FPGA chip and external memories.